What's up everyone, Colette Xcore here and I am here to explain to you how to install the Ghost Frontline Black Ops mod. So we're gonna need two things. We're gonna need the mod itself and Nukem 9's game mod. This is important because you will need you will need this to actually play the mod. So what you're gonna do is go to the links in the description down below. First link is the, for the linker mod, the second link is for uh, Black Ops 1 itself. So, uh, you're gonna scroll down to the assets section of game mod and click the first link, gamemod.zip. Once you have downloaded that one, um, let me just, yeah, once you have downloaded that one, you will go to the second link in the description and go to release version 1.0. At the time of recording, this is the only release, so um, you're gonna click this GFL release that's seven zip. And once it's downloaded, then it's time for the juicy part the one you call installing the mod after we download this. It takes a few seconds, and once that's done, you're gonna go to your um, downloads folder and locate these files these two files so on, on a sec on another window you're gonna go to your black ops directory so that's steam apps common call of duty black ops so what you're gonna do <clears throat> is extract both of these um your black ops install will not look like this because i have mod tools installed so uh what you're gonna do is you copy these you copy all of these to your main install. Um, I have uh, I have them already installed, so I need to I don't need to replace them. So I will replace them for the sake of tut the tutorial, and wait just a few seconds. After that, after you install game mod, you install the girls frontline mod itself. Same thing, drag these two to the, drag these two to the main menu, the Black Ops menu, uh, the main folder I mean. It takes a few seconds. Okay, we have just finished copying the files. Once everything is done, you will see these two, BOMods.bat and BOMods.gfl.bat. So, you're gonna run this one, the, the one that's highlighted right now. And after you run that, uh, make sure to, to uh, make sure to click yes on launcher.ldr.exe, so it will launch the mod. So once that's done, you have the mod installed. You're good to go. You just let the let the game run by itself and enjoy the mod. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like. And comment down below if you have questions and or if you still have problems installing the mod. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new or subscribe to Loyalists for more mods. And that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!